Yeah, it's Dame the Musician. Yeah, so this um topic is um of discussion is MIDI controllers. See, um growing up, you know, I was growing up in the nineties, I'm an eighties baby, and you know, music was kinda like in a in a in a little change. So um yeah, we had the um a lot of analog. You know, it wasn't too much digital things going on. I was growing up, it was still like, they were still using ADAT to record and and those big reels, big reel tapes and stuff like that. So I seen the transition from um, audio, you know, like um, analog to digital. So I was watching and a lot of things happen, you know. So when it came to MIDI controllers, they weren't really accepted, you know, because when I was growing up, it was like, you had to have an MPC, you had to have like an expensive keyboard, everything was analog, and there were like keyboards out there like the Trinity, the Korg Triton, Motifs and and everything like that, and that that was in like the, the early 2000s, 1999, the Korg Triton came out, and it was very expensive and I didn't have a job or anything like that but we used to go to Guitar Center all the time and test them out and we were amazed at the sounds that were in these machines so yeah I kind of like um we, we used to just like play around with with stuff at Guitar Center and Sam Ash so in about um around 2005 um when I was making beats and everything and me and my friends we were making beats and stuff like that and they were um we we discovered um MIDI controllers so um the first controller that I actually purchased was an M Audio Oxygen 49 and it had the controls like level faders and stuff like that and and the record button See, at the time, I was using Logic 5.5 Oxygen, and at the time, they were make it, they, they made it for um, PC. And it came a time when um, they, they stopped making it for PC, and it became, like, all exclusive to Apple, because Apple had brought the product, you know? So, at the time, I was using the M-Audio Oxygen, and I think it was about, it was about 100 plus dollars and I was amazed at it because the MIDI was a little bit more more faster because MIDI itself was actually like I think I had to buy before I I was using before I was using the audio interface I was I was using like a a Casio keyboard and I use it as a controller because in Logic they had the um, sound font capability, capabilities. They had the um, the sound fonts and everything. So, you know, my friends had found these websites that had sound fonts. So, we used to download them. They were free. They used to download a lot of free sound font packs and everything. And they were, you know, one sound font could have like a whole bank of MIDI you know like MIDI sounds and then he had the tailor-made ones that someone else had made and it was a lot of types of um decent sounds at the time that I thought were decent so basically um I used to use a Casio as a controller and but before that previously there were um there were a MIDI interface that that actually like before I even had an audio interface they were MIDI interface it was um I forgot the company that made it but it was called um MIDI 2x2 and I think they had the one damn I I don't know the um company that actually made it It might have been Oxygen yeah I think it was the Oxygen MIDI 2x2 box that I bought it was green and prior to that MIDI was very um slow it was slow and there were a lot of latency so I had to buy this um, 2x2 box to go through, you know, before there were even USB, like, we went to, we had the USB um, 2x2 box, and then I connected it 
through there and I sent the MIDI through there and then we were amazed like oh man there's no latency so we used to just make beats like that but until I got the um, audio interface the latency kind of like cancelled out and then eventually um, everything was good and I'm saying this story because MIDI interfaces and um MIDI controllers weren't really accepted. It was all about these analog machines and and outboard gear. So since I had that MIDI controller from um M Audio, yeah, like it took me a while, but later on, I mean year by year they were they started making new ones. Other companies started making their own and I started using it from there, but I'd say around two, like anywhere before 2008, I think, yeah, MIDI controllers, they weren't even in style, you know, I used to get clown when they used to say like, oh man, you're making beats using a computer, where's your MPC at, man, where, yeah, man, where's the Triton at, so when, back in the day when you used to tell people what you used, it was almost like being ashamed because they would actually downgrade the music that you were making. So it's kind of funny how everything came around around and now it's like kind of like standard now. It's okay to use controllers, any types of controllers and the market actually put controllers out like crazy. So there's an unknown amount of controllers and since then you know i've bought a whole bunch of controllers and and other companies may have started making drum machine controllers and then you, of course you had to you know um akai had to jump in and and start making an mpc controller with their own software and then you had machine com coming out and their their product was kind of like better or whatever at the time so you had that, you had a lot of companies making controllers, and then next thing you know, there were the lights. The pads would start lighting up and having light around them, and then, like, the rest were, the rest was history, you know? And so in this music, in this music thing, I got to see the, the, the transition of what people used to use to create music. But now, um... I'm with Ableton Live and that's my diehard DAW and this is the DAW that I like to use and I also use FL Studio and I use FL um I use um Studio One for a little bit. I still have these licenses and I update them here and there, but Ableton Live is what I'm can um what I'm comfortable using. So, you know. But that's my story of MIDI controllers weren't being accepted back in the day when I grew up. So there's a story, you know. So peace out, like, comment, subscribe.